I'm just saying. I'm Liz. This is my beautiful daughter, Joy, and Jaden is also here with us today. And we have ventured to Charlotte, North Carolina. And today I feel like we're going to have the whole park just to ourselves because it is raining here and we have bought tickets to the, well, I'm sure the title had give away, Carowinds Winterfest, where they have shows, Snoopy shows, a million lights, and lots of food. I'm not hungry. So, the best thing about this is the price. It's like $37 for a ticket. You can't even go to the movies for $37. Like, really, you really can't. After popcorn. If you go to downtown Disney, a ticket's like 20 bucks for the movie. So, if you're in the area, check it out. It's a great... I'm, I'm excited. Are you excited? Why are you holding your phone crooked? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah, but I feel like this will be my house soon. This will be Carolyn. your house. Carolyn's gonna be your house. You're gonna live here. Hmm. All right. Well, come on our adventure. So this is the amazing igloo and today is a perfect day to take advantage of it because it is raining out so if you want to take a break from the rain you can come in and hang out by the uh, mantle place that you can fire up in here it's so cute and your own igloo it's so romantic so you can take your special someone or if you have kids it's a nice place to relax you can also get VIP seating at select shows like the Charlie Brown show and you haven't even seen it yet but we will see it. Um, today we did purchase the Winterfest mug, which is $12.99. You get free refills on the first day, so you can get unlimited hot cocoa. You also get priority access to ice skating and carriage ride experiences. So I do believe it is well worth every dollar that you spend, because if you go out to the movies or you make a night of it, you're gonna be spending this much anyhow, and this is just a magical. So it's so festive here, I love it. It's so Christmassy, finally getting me in the Christmas spirit. And I feel like we have the whole park to ourselves because it is raining. So we're about to go see our first Christmas spectacular show. The three times that they're showing the Charlie Brown's Christmas spectacular is at 5.15, 6.15, and 7.15. And I'm gonna tell you, I've seen shows inside the Saturday before and I've never once been disappointed, I believe. open not all the rides are open uh, did you love the show yeah I give it a 10 out of 10 10 out of 10 and there's a ton 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 but there are a ton a ton and I'm probably gonna just tons of photo opportunities throughout the entire park great place to get some Instagram shots if you want your kiddo to write a letter to Santa Claus, they have an amazing opportunity. You can come in here. You can also relax if it's raining. Look at we need that bubble wrap for my job. Look, look at the bubble wrap. That's amazing. 
Can you make what? Go ahead, make a Santa note. Let's make a Santa note. Yes, Jay. Oh, look, you already made one. You already got yours. If you are lacking in the holiday spirit, I definitely recommend checking out Carowinds Winterfest. There's tons of opportunities to take pictures, entertainment, food. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you're not a Charlotte local, you can hop on a plane. Most of the time, if you book a couple weekends in advance, the tickets literally are about $20. Pack yourself a little backpack and come out and experience this. Not to mention the rides are phenomenal. They have some of the best roller coasters that you'll ever find. They also have a cookie decorating experience that you can purchase here at the park and decorate some cookies. Or like me, I skipped the cookie decorating and just went for the sugar cookie and it was only $2.99. It was absolutely delicious. Highly recommend for three bucks. Why not? Literally feel like we have a whole park to ourselves right now because it is coming down a little bit. But hey, memories are being made. All right, we've got the whole park to ourselves. What, what? The rain is coming down and Santa's singing ho, ho, ho. We're about to go on the ride. This is great. Well, we don't have the whole park to ourselves. It's just not raining. But guess what? We got some ponchos. We will live. There's a couple people out here. It is gorgeous. One of the interesting sweets and treats is the s'mores bacon. Bacon dipped in chocolate sauce and tossed in graham crackers. We know we're in North Carolina. What, what? We got the sriracha maple bacon and the salted caramel bacon. yee The lights, everything is extremely beautiful. We are a little sad, however, because they're cutting it short due to inclement weather. The rain has actually now stopped and it's not supposed to rain at all for the rest of the evening, but they're still closing, so we are sad. But, while we were here, we did enjoy the stay. It is really gorgeous. And Jaden's trying to take pictures of Joy. <laughs> I definitely wish I had had more time to explore all the food options that they had here at Winterfest Carowinds. I really like the fact that they had these amazing fire pits where you could go and purchase a s'mores kit and just sit down, relax, create some s'mores, just another way to create some magical Christmas memory experiences. And also the pull apart bread looked absolutely delicious. But the whole park was very festive, so many lights. One of the things that we enjoy doing is ice skating. And even though this is Charlotte, North Carolina, it doesn't get very cold normally and my son pointed out that's real ice mom so I don't know exactly how they keep everything cold but I was pretty impressed and right here's just so many cute photo opportunities this was candy cane lane and like I said before the photo opportunities absolutely endless NFL Stadium and other tourist attractions However, as was true for other theme parks across the country during this time, attendance at Carowinds was severely impacted by the 1973 oil crisis, and as a result, the plans for the resort attractions were abandoned. Pat Hall and other stockholders of the Carowinds Corporation continued to operate the theme park through 1974, though sagging attendance and mounting debt forced them to sell the company to Taft Broadcasting in early 1975. Through several acquisitions over the years, Carowinds eventually became part of the Paramount Parks family, which was owned by Viacom, and for nearly 13 years was referred to as Paramount's Carowinds. On July 1st, 2006, Carowinds became a part of Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, one of the largest regional amusement resort operators in the world. Cedar Fair owns and operates 11 amusement parks, two outdoor water parks, one indoor water park, and six hotels throughout North America. Over the past four decades, Carolines has seen major growth spurts with the addition of world-class thrill rides, exhilarating live shows, and the addition of seasonal events like Scarowins, the Great Pumpkin Fest during the fall, and Winterfest and New Year's Eve during the holidays. 
Carolyn's currently boasts two of the ten top. One last stop, and we're going into the gift shop, and they have so many cute, sweet treats. And I did see a spirit jersey on the other side, so I'm gonna have to show you that this what spirit jerseys they do have available. They have so many cute gingerbread. They're fake, though. I need to tell you. These are super cute spirit jerseys. I really love this one. That's my favorite, and on the front it does uh, say Carowinds on it. And those are, let's look at the price, $56. They even have a super cute Christmas one. Tis the season and Merry Christmas, y'all. All right, guys, so a little disappointed. I didn't get to see like the, the parade. I wanted to try some more of the food, the special foods they had. However, since we were out of state, they did actually end up refunding our admission since we were only here a few hours um, and not for the full event. Now, if you are local, I do believe what they were doing was giving out uh, tickets if you paid for a ticket to come in. Now, I don't know if that was on a case-to-case -case scenario. This may change on a day-to-day -day basis. I don't really know. I'm just stating what I observed when I walked in this evening. So, um, definitely, I think, worth every penny. you got to check it out. I definitely want to fly up here again next year and go to it. Hopefully, it won't be raining, and hopefully, they won't close down. What was your favorite thing? No, I'm just kidding. Um, probably the ride. She didn't get, she's never been on, there's a new ride they have, a new um, roller coaster called Copperhead Strike. And Jaden, what was your favorite? Was My it? My favorite ride it was the Copperhead Strike in the show. I, I really like the the show and the I like the good. I had a, the Christmas cookie so anyways thanks guys for watching hit the subscribe button for more adventures and until next time every is a gift so yeah, have fun share the joy